tell you how excited it is to be back and, and looking to the future for the city of Fort Lauderdale. We talked about the last few months in these forums about what's good, what's bad, uh, and where we need to go and what we need to accomplish. Um, and very briefly, what I'd like to say is what's good about this city is the people. Uh, I've had the pleasure of serving on the Planning and Zoning Board, the Beach and Development Advisory Board. I've headed my neighborhood association for the past six years. I've learned the value of making sure that everybody has a voice. Everyone has a seat at the table. Uh, that leads me to what I believe is not good. What's not good is I do not think that everyone has had a seat at the table and a voice. The very business community that sits in this room has not been invited in. There are things that need to be accomplished in this city as we head into 2009 beyond that are going to be very challenging. Why is it that our present city commission is anti-business? Why is it that we aren't doing enough to make sure that we retain the businesses in the city and look beyond the city? Why do we see a convention and a visitors bureau traveling all over the world to attract tourists to Fort Lauderdale and Broward County, and yet we're not doing that with the business community? Why are we not partnering with other agencies that could be doing that work in the county, such as the county itself? These are the kinds of things I think we need to do. We need to think outside of the box. We cannot rely on property taxes as we go forward. We know what's happening to the assessed valuations because of the market. We need to think of new public-private partnerships. Look at Nova Southeastern and the Museum of Art downtown. Look at some of the other examples. We have an amazing port, an amazing economic engine on the beach. Take a look at the Swimming Hall of Fame, for instance. Losing a million dollars a year and subsidizing teen swimmers to the tune of $10,000 a swimmer. The public is shut out. We're not thinking creatively. Royal Caribbean Cruise Line in our port, developing now an amazing aqua theater program on its ships. Why are we not developing a swimming hall of fame to train the artists who are going to be performing on these ships? Why are we not creating a tourism tour? Why aren't we thinking outside the box, bringing in the many talented people, especially in the creative industries? There is an amazing source of talent in this city that's untapped. We have to look at those people and, yes, bring them into a visioning process, sit them down, figure out what our goals are, and work together. We have to stop the divisiveness on this city commission. We are not working together. The level of respect is not there. There's too much bickering and too much petty agendas behind the scenes. We have to come together not only as a city commission, but as a community to make sure that we're going to head into the rest of this year and later. Um, I appreciate your support. Please go to the website, votglassman.com. I talk about green industries. I talk about the visions. I talk about the issues. Um, I talk about the importance of business. Um, and I would welcome your support on February 10th. Thanks so much.